Hey guys, uh, Bill here and welcome back to the layout. Um, today I'm going, well a few videos back I did some, uh, you know, running of the, the bunch of my engines and uh, some of them weren't smoking well and then I did another video after that uh, showing the ones that I had uh, done the smoke unit maintenance on. Um, two mo uh, engines that I did not work on and have not fixed yet are that I was not happy with um, was the Challenger, the Lionel Vision Line Challenger. The uh, main stack has never been serviced, and I thought that was the smoke was really thin with it. So that's a sure indication that the batting's burnt. So that's what I'm doing today. And by the way, this is the smoke unit. This is the main stack, and it's also got the whistle steam. Uh, it's this is two in one. This little hose hooks up here and connects up here. And by the way, this. These two smoke units mount in the shell up here. Anyways, today I'm going to go ahead and uh, service this, and I'm also going to take a look at the triplex. I'm hoping that I can just oil that motor. If you guys remember the triplex uh, main stack fan motor, smoke unit fan motor failed. So uh, we're going to take a look at that too. Anyways, um, all right, we'll be right back. Hey guys, um, unfortunately I lost uh, a clip of video and it's kind of important for me to get you up to speed because otherwise the next section doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, this is a horrible drawing um, of the smoke unit uh, element. I'm just showing one. There's actually two smoke elements on the, on the circuit board. One for the main stack and one for the whistle steam. Well, the way this one's designed, I've never seen one like this. You know how most elements just sit down into the batting. Um, so, but that's not how this one works. This one, the batting comes in like a sheet. And the sheet, there's a metal, here's, here's a picture of the, this is like the side view. There's the element, goes into the board. This is a metal rod that goes up at the same height as the element. And here's the top view, okay? There's the rod, there's the element. The sheet of batting, you, it gets pulled up between the element and this metal rod. It's like a U-shaped rod. Anyways, I don't have any of that stuff, and Lionel doesn't carry it. It said unavailable on their website. So what I had to do was I decided even though the elements were good, I replaced the elements, and you know, you, you bend these yourself. So what I did is I just raised the element above the metal bar so that I could set it up like a normal smoke unit with the element down into the batting. So anyways, I just want to get you guys up to speed. Hopefully this all makes sense and uh, we'll be right back. Okay guys, this is what I decided to do. Um, there was nothing wrong with the elements, but you can see how short the, uh, you know, the legs are on this thing. And with the way they've got this designed, as I showed you before, they've got these little bars right here. And the the uh, batting is kind of like a sheet type of a batting. And they, it's not available anymore. But anyways, it was stuck in between this little bar here and, and the element. Well, I decided to replace the elements and make the legs longer. That way, uh, I can just set it up as normal. I could have cut these uh, these little bars out of here, whatever you call that. Um, but I decided just to leave them the way that they are, and just lengthen the legs of the elements, and uh, just put my batting in. And the thing is, you can't, uh, you can't, you gotta ha make sure there's enough air uh, between. See, here's where the fan motor pushes the air. Whoops, pushes the air out right there. And then there's an opening right there in the reservoir where the air goes through. So if your batting is stacked up too high to get to that element with the short legs, it's going to wind up choking off the air, okay? And then less smoke volume. So anyways, denser smoke but less volume. So I didn't want to do that, so I decided the way to do it would just to replace the elements and make these legs longer. and. Uh, that way, uh, hopefully it'll work out okay. And we'll, we'll know once we try it. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna put everything back together and be right back. 
Oh, and one other thing, just for the record, because I'm not going to do this on uh, tape. I'm, I'm using this batting here. You know, you just pull it apart. I've probably done a video on this before. Let me see here, make sure. You just rip it apart, you know, and then you just ball it up. Okay, so, all right, we'll be right back. Okay, so you just kind of rip that, shred it up like that, and then you just ball it up. You know, you ball it up and shove it in there, okay? Just kind of, you know, kind of like that. Anyways, I'll be right back. Just testing it guys, um, I haven't even put the shell back, I mean it shells back on but it's not screwed down, just making sure everything works. I'm pretty sure it's better than it was, I'm thinking maybe I should... Alrighty then, this thing's working pretty good now. I guess it just had to warm up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. Hey guys, <clears throat> I just want to let you know when I went back in, uh, when I went, went to put the thing back together, I decided to pull the smoke unit back out and I removed those uh, U-shaped metal rods. I just don't need them and that way I could center the elements better in the reservoir. So I just want to let you know they're no longer in there and I, I double checked with Lionel to see how much that board was just in case I screwed something up and it was only $16. So I figured, what the heck, might as well cut them off. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Run this is a little bit more.
All right, guys, that'll do it. Thanks for watching.